Hey guys, Logan Dunning from logandunning.com. Have you ever been in a situation where you've installed Visual Studio, the latest um, non-Visual Studio code, um, and you have installed Node, um, Node.js, and for some reason, when you go over to Visual Studio code, you know, you type in npm help, and it doesn't know about that. But, you know, if you went over to, you know, Visual Studio, you know, and opened either a developer command prompt or a developer PowerShell. That seemed to work. And can I press up? And that seemed to work as well. So why is that? So for some reason, if we look over on like an installer of Visual Studio and you go to modify and you look at maybe individual components and you just search for like node, um, so it's in, it's installed, right? Like so, the the thing is, um, in the past I fixed this by going to um, you know download the latest version of Node, and then you got two in there, two different potentially two different versions. One's that one that ships with Visual Studio, uh, you know, twenty twenty two, or and then you also have your local installed one, which can, in my experience, have these weird hiccups. So I'll show you what I did to resolve this. And it's pretty simple. Um, so let's say that you wanted to use the Node.js that Visual Studio full-blown IDE comes with over on Visual Studio code or anywhere, really. Um, so like I said, it works here. Uh, what you wanna do is you wanna hit the start, start menu and then type in the word environment vari variables. And this guy will come up here and you're gonna go to environment variables and this whole idea about uh, the path, right? So when you put things in the, the path, um, it's like the way, um, it will like from any command prompt kind of anywhere, like if there's some kind of a command, uh, it has access to it. It's like kind of like a global using, like a cross OS uh, using statement. Now, I didn't even test to put it in this one, the specific path for the current logged in user in Windows, you know, 8, 9, 10, well, not 9, they didn't do 9, uh, 10 and 11. I'm on 11, but I put it in the, you know, OS wide, so the machine wide. So if you go to edit here on the path, um, and it really is really weird if you think about it, like if Visual Studio 2022 is installing, um, Node.js, why wouldn't they put it in the path like automatically or at least give you an option? When you download and install Node from the website, they they give you an option and they'll put it in the path for you, but it does, you know, it's very helpful to have that. So um, I have found where, so how I did this was, and this will probably have to change per, you know, as they increment the version numbers of Visual Studio and put this thing in different spots. Um, you're going to have to find the location of where Visual Studio 2022 uses the NPM command. Um, so I was able to determine that by essentially just looking. If you scroll up here, it'll show you kind of the basic uh, path. Um, it's something similar to this, I think, um, but not exactly that. Um, so th I'll put the... Sorry, I'll uh, copy and paste this and put it in the description in the video down below if you're interested in just seeing if it blindly works. <laughs> but you probably have to um, maybe update it over, over time as Visual Studio changes. So I'm going to say new um, and I'm going to say paste. And if we look at this URL, I'm not sure if I can expand this. Yes, I can. Nice. So we got. Um, Program Files, Visual Studio 2022, Community, MS Build, Microsoft, Visual Studio, Node.js. And if, if I just paste that in, if I hit start and press enter on that, I'll just bring it around. So you'll see that in there it has um, the application, but this is, I believe, the command that it's running. So when you type in npm, because look, nothing else in this folder is npm. And this is just a Windows command script. And then you can say, uh, show more options and edit. And it says, 
um, created by npm don't mend it uh, edit manually okay so that i assumed that that was the command right so i just paste this thing in here and um just make sure it's saved yeah it's there we go okay now i figured it would work right away um it didn't and i was like okay maybe i have to reboot and then i was like well before you do that that's kind of jumping the gun just close it and reopen it go there's the uh, previous messages let's just clear on that and then we'll go npm help and there you have it so once it's in the path it will actually use the npm from visual studio 2022 in um, visual studio code or the new JetBrains minimal ide or any kind of text editor that you want once it's in the path then you have the power so I hope you guys like that quick demonstration on how you can put uh, NPM in the path from the default install of Visual Studio 2022, and then you can consume it uh, somewhere else like Visual Studio Code and whatnot. Um, hope you guys appreciated the video uh, in any way. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe, and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks.